Alright, uh, everyone, welcome back to the series where I talk about all the games I'm interested in the upcoming month. The month for this video is July of 2024. This snuck up on me. I didn't realize how much there was. I thought June had 31 days, but I, I thought I could just throw it together. There's a lot here. Let's just get right into this. On the second, we have the first Descendant, which I'm just gonna. I, I thought it was a. Uh, something to do with Maple Story for a second. I'm not even sure, but it seems to be a third person open looter shooter style co op game. <sighs> uh, they're not my kind of game, but it looks like it could be fun. Not sure how good, but it looks... I, I like the character designs, or at least the look of the graphics. It looks okay. Not my kind of game, but I'll... In general, with looter shooters, but I'll at least keep a little eye on it. More than I usually would. On the fourth, we have Net Game from and the Ho Mo shit. What I don't even know what it's called. Me Hoyo. It always slips my mind. The next game in that list, I in that franchise games, the from the developers of Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail, Zenless Zone Zero. I'm gonna be honest, with Honkai Star Rail, I maybe I'm rewriting history in my head. I don't remember, but I don't remember ever having a ton of interest in the style or the look. This looks to be back to form for what I enjoyed, for the character design I liked from Genshin Impact and stuff like that. It's going to be free, it's going to be a pl something, something to play on my PS5 because that's been neglected lately. So, I, I'm pretty sure it's free. Looking forward to it. Who knows if it will be, will it be above Genshin on the same level? Will I hate it? Will it be middle ground? Am I done with that kind of stuff because I don't have friends who play the same thing as that anymore? <laughs> who knows? We'll see. In three days. Because I'm late with this. Ble <laughs> Faith Forsaken, I don't even have much to say about it. It's your next Souls like not from from some from from software game. <laughs> I think it's generally accepted right now. Whether you love Souls games or not, whether you care about them or not, the ones that are not from software are hit or miss. Mostly miss. For me, I'm not great at these games, I don't play them. But for me, the one thing that usually gets me interested is the design of the enemies, the design of the world. That is the highlight. Even whether I care or not or play it or not. They seem to have that going very well for it. I can't see myself buying this too soon. If it's on sale or free, I'll check it out. That comes out on the 5th, so hopefully it'll go on sale soon. <laughs> Also on the 5th, because like I said, this month has too many fucking games. Cyber Citizen Shockman Zero is a remaster of a game from the 90s. A side-scrolling, very anime platformer. It looks stupid off, because these side-scrolling action beat beat 'em ups are generally not for me. either. They're f average at best. I like them once in a while. This looks silly enough and fun enough and just ridiculous enough to keep me interested for a whole way. The character designs, I've seen character games where they're like bullet hell, rail shooter style games I generally have no interest in, but if they can have enough personality and charm to them, I can push through.
on the 9th, not even a third of the way through the month yet, <laughs> Lifeless Moon, which is also called Lifeless Planet. I haven't mentioned it yet, but that's at least the third game I think on this list that has a different name depending on when and where it released. I'm, it makes it tough. It just seems like an open, empty, hence the term, lifeless, survivally puzzle game. You explore in third person, solving puzzles, and I don't know, it's just 100% what makes this game interesting for me is the atmosphere. It just feels dead, empty, and so, so depressing, and I'm all in for that. I hope you survive. <laughs> One sec. Nahul Books Dungeon Master. Nahul Books Dungeon Master. Nahul Books Dungeon Master seems to be your latest because of another genre has been exploding in the last few years The Simulator. And specifically the management style simulator, or prison simulator, or theme park stuff, all that. And the Huel Books Dungeon Sim or Dungeon Master is a game where you run a dungeon. I have nothing else to say. It just seems like out of all these, I generally don't have too much interest in these kind of games either. It's the one that actually sounds kind of fun. I I can definitely see myself having stupid fun with it. There's nothing they can do in my dungeon. It lets you be sadistic without feeling bad. No, that's not true. Our underlings, uh, I mean employees, can fully express themselves thanks to our committed HR management and peaceful social dialogue. And can enjoy the use of clean, safe premises. <laughs> hey, don't film that, or you'll be the one cutting to shreds on the editing floor. Thanks to your boundless devotion, I, Zangdar, will become the greatest warlock of the lands of Fang. <laughs> Looking for a job that gives meaning to your life and makes the world a better place? Then buzz off! But if you're organized, servile, sneaky, and enjoy a positive work atmosphere, come take your chance. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Riviera of the Promised Land is a, game by Advan a remaster of a Game by Advance Era RPG. It's hard to get a full grasp of what this game is. It looks like it's just general turn-based stuff, but it has the same... Same background, the same layout as like a, a Final Fantasy a tactical RPG, like Final Fantasy Tactics style kind of thing. But it seems like you just attack. It, it's very bizarre to look at. But it also seems to have elements of, you know, dating sim kind of stuff, tactical RPG. I think it is the perfect time for me to get into a Game Boy Advance era RPG. I, I couldn't think of a better time in my life than right now. It seems to be like, I don't know, this is probably one of the few games this year or this month that I can 100% guarantee I will pick up. I'm going to go in blind just because, you know, fun little story. And, and if I look up anything, who knows? It might talk me out of it. And that's coming on the 17th. It's coming on the 17th. It's something I'm not going to say much about at all. I'm just going to leave a few little words. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splinter's Fate. Splintered Fate. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles rogue. Like, why not? It's not a genre I typically play, but uh, it seems to be the theme for this month because that just kind of happens. Genre I don't care about. One little thing to keep me uh, slightly interested. A, a teenage. I want to. I want genres or not in IPs in general to branch the fuck out. I want some Pokemon Souls, like, I want some Call of Duty turn-based RPGs. Just branch out, do something stupid and different that maybe nobody will like, but it might be great. Just, we, we need something, we need something, we're in, I, like, we had a Pinocchio Souls, like, let that show that we are capable of having something that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> I'm bored. I'm in the house! Yeah. 
need to collect more data. Whatever it takes. Nice. Your family is doing as it has. You, your brothers, your pathetic fool of a father. We're gonna come get you, Sensei. Nothing's getting in our way. On the 18th, we have Master Detective Archives Rain Code, which is a game that used to be from the same people as like Dang and Rampa, not Zero Escape games, you know, a mix between like Spike Chunks off and our new Studio Tokyo games. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And which same writer and designer as the Dang and Rampa games, which I absolutely loved. It used to be only on Switch, it's finally come to Pew other systems. Hopefully, they will follow suit with other stuff they're doing too. Really looking forward to it. I was afraid it would never come out anywhere else, and I'm really glad it is. Something unexpected occurred in our efforts to find... How many times did I warn you to stay away from him? You should have listened! Whatever the mystery may be, I'll never turn my eyes away. My memories in my past don't matter. But I will fight, and I will unveil it with the truth! I will show you a world where everyone is happy. Also on the 18th, Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. I typically don't play a lot of Switch. I have my brother's one, he doesn't play it, so I just have it. I haven't bought one game for it in the two years I've had it or so. So it hasn't been doing well. It's just been kind of sitting there, right there. This is just... It's a mix of random levels, random inspired by NES levels, speed running stuff. You know, you're speed running the whole of Force Mario game. Little, I think remixed games and levels too. I've always wanted to, but haven't gotten around to I have to do it soon. I have to pick up the... There was like... Didn't these come out on the Wii U? There was like these NES Remix challenges. I really want to pick them up. And this seems to be more of that. I'm not sure if it is. You got leaderboards, award records. Out of all the Switch games coming out. Forget the only one, the only ones I'm interested in. This is the absolute highlight for me of the Nintendo Direct recently. Maybe the Switch will finally be used. Right around the time they're rumoured to be <laughs> in a Switch too. Yeah, that seems appropriate for everything. Challenges include... Racing to grab the Super Mushroom. Defeating the Octorox as fast as you can. Reaching the gate as quickly as possible. And so many more. Take on over 150 challenges from across 13 different NES games. Aim for the best time in speedrun mode. Compete for the top spot in the World Championships Weekly Global Online Leaderboards. Nintendo World Championships NES Edition launches July 18th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. On the 23rd, we apparently have Conscript, which is supposed to be inspired by the classics of the you know, of the survival horror genre. From all I can tell, it just... It, it kind of looks like what would happen if Resident Evil had released a year or two earlier. Maybe on like a, a, a very final game in Sega Genesis style. I like the environment. I, I, I mean, I, I know, I like the vibes it gives off. It's like half the trailer, I'm like, oh, I'm in, I'm in. Then half, I'm just like, uh, this looks like a generic, pixely indie game. And that is just there to tell a story, which, not, not a bad thing, but like with probably most things, most of them turn out to be average at best, not the point. It at least looks like it could be a really cheap game, and that's enough for me to probably pick it up. At midnight, in some flaming town. When spring trips north again this year. And I... To my pledged word, I'm true. I shall not fail that rendezvous. Just, I thought I should mention it. On the 25th, a game I absolutely loved, Tokyo Xanadu was coming to the Switch. I never actually finished, I definitely want to get back to it. It's kind of Persona, but if it was an action game. Whether you like it more or less, like the characters more or less, That'll depend. There's not mini games, but as the whole day to day system, we decide to either go to a dungeon or talk to your friends, a limited time to do a certain thing, solve different mysteries, to, like gain new allies, you know, solve people's problems. I had a ton of fun with what I did play. I highly recommend checking it out, especially if you like Persona style games.
Oh my god, finally. And really quickly on the adaptation side of things. On the 6th we have Sakuna of Rice and Ruin getting an anime series. I play it, it's kind of a mix between side scrolling attack and slash side game like Dust if you've ever played that kind of reminds you of and Farming Simulator. <laughs> Fun mix. I played a bit of this right when I got my PS5. I enjoyed what I did, I never went back to it, but it might be a fun anime series. The characters were a lot of fun. And on the 14th we have At Three My Dairy Memories getting an anime adaptation. That is from a world that was flooded, or at least a city that was flooded. Guess it used to be a visual novel, getting an anime. There's a lot of random stuff getting anime series written lately. It's just, hey, you know the thing nobody's mentioned like seven years? Or in this test, three years. Yeah, anime series. <laughs> oh my god, finally that is everything that came out this month. How long was that? I don't think it was that bad, honestly. Okay, I have 17 minutes. Oh my god. Okay. It's it's usually worse because I have to do it. There's so many different little things. But yeah, I'm going to go finish this before I go to bed because, I, like I said, I forgot June had 30 days and not 31. I liked to release this on the last day. Shut the fuck up, me. But as always, let me know what you're looking forward to. Let me know anything I might have missed. And I'll see you for the next one next month. See you then. Adventuring in dungeons? Any idiot could do that. But managing an evil dungeon? Now we're talking elite. Why are there demons at Heaven's Gate? I believe in my purpose. Father! He's gone, guys. What do we do now? We stop talking and start smashing, that's what. I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. So, I have to go. This is my dream. Compete for the top spot in the World Championships Weekly Global Online Leaderboards. Peggy 16. I have a rendezvous with this. She's a あるかと方に